Today I'm going to teach you how to make a semi-realistic sunset with tree silhouettes in acrylic paints. You're going to need a wide tip brush, a wide tip textured brush, a chisel tip brush, and a rounded brush. You'll also need a blank canvas, of course, water for rinsing your brushes and paints in any color you like, but since this is only semi-realistic, it doesn't have to be classic sunset colors. To get this process started, we're going to go ahead and grab our flat tip brush and we're going to go ahead and grab the darkest color of paint that you have for this. So in my case it's purple, but it doesn't really matter. And we're going to spread it along the top like this. And you're going to blend it down about a third of the way. So as we continue on, this is really the most interesting part to me because of what I've learned throughout my time painting. So you're going to grab your darkest warm color, so in this case my red orange that I have going on. Just move on to your next color before going back to give it a little bit of an interim state to dry. So in this case my color is again the orange. So now I'm going to go come through down here and I'm going to pull through my orange all the way across and until the bottom. Doing the background to the foreground is really the preferred method, uh, and as Bob Ross said, background, foreground, top to bottom, and that's how you paint. To pull these colors together, I'm going to wet my textured wide bristled brush, so the water is necessary for this part. Alright, so I'm going to gently and smoothly go over it just a little bit. And as you can see, that's blended fairly nice. It's okay to pull it all the way down to the end of the red because really that would be more natural looking. I was actually taught this by a friend of mine from church. Um, her name's Heidi Johnson and she's actually an art teacher and she's the one who taught me to paint in the first place. All right, once your background has dried, it's time to grab your rounded tip brush and with some white and the lightest color that you have, in this case that yellow-orange, you're going to start making tiny little swirls that will eventually form into clouds. So I'm going to start right here just so you can see it, and I like to just draw out the general shape of a cloud while it doesn't have to be perfect. And In this case, it really doesn't matter the shape of the cloud because where the light is coming from, the correct usage of light, will be much more important than the cloud itself. Alright, now that your clouds have been done and I've added a few more in, we're going to go ahead and low light and highlight the clouds. So when it comes to highlighting and low lighting, that's really what gives it the impression of light and where the light's coming from. So we're going to highlight around the bottom because that's where our light source is. So I like to make little swirls just to bring out where the lighting is and where the sun's coming from and give it that you know pretty cloud rounded shape. The low light is really what's going to bring out all of your clouds and this is really just to show where your light source is coming from within the clouds but obviously you can see that this is a gradient between dark and light so we all know really where the light is coming from. It's coming from the bottom like any other sunset or even sunrise. So now I'm going to go through and I'm actually going to start on my top one just to get a feel for this. Yeah. As you can see I'm just sort of swirling it around right now, just around the top of the cloud in general. Um, you know, nothing too special, but as you work your way through, you're going to be spreading that out and even a little bit more of the paint underneath because you did get your brush so wet. And that's what's going to give it an impression of low lighting <clears throat> and you're gonna go through and you're gonna do this on every cloud but the closer to the bottom you get the less dark you're going to use so the top cloud is the darkest the bottom cloud is the lightest we can go ahead and start doing our silhouette of the trees um, now this part is probably the easiest of the entire thing because you don't have to do very much detail because it's just black because it's backlit so you're going to start in wherever you want. I think I want something over here with a little bit of black, like a tree branch, you know. It doesn't have to be straight. It doesn't have to be super leafy. Um, but I do think that it really adds something to have a little more than less. So in conclusion, we've learned how to do an appropriate background, foreground, 
Um, and then, of course, our accent marks, which in this piece are the tree silhouettes. I hope you can use this in your everyday life, and I hope you enjoyed watching.